Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to explore an AI builder action in Power Automate that will allow us to extract unstructured data from Outlook emails. Our goal is to create a cloud flow that will locate particular text in an incoming email and create a variable that we can use elsewhere in our flow. Let's get started. So we're going to build an automated cloud flow and our trigger is going to be when a new email arrives. And the one that we want is the version three, Office 365 Outlook. And for our demonstration purposes, we wanna set up a couple of filters on our trigger. So I'm gonna have it, the email be what comes to my inbox. And then it's going to have a subject filter simply called test. Now, what we need to do next is a new step that's going to convert the HTML to text. That's content conversion and HTML to text. And then in this field here for content, we want to put the body of the dynamic content of our trigger action. Now, the next step is one that we can't completely set up yet because the next step will require some additional actions outside of Power Automate in the Power Apps. So we are gonna use an AI Builder connector. So that's this one right here. You can see we have all of these options here. And the one that we want is create text with GPT using a prompt. I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna show you that there are built-in prompts here that you can choose from. So you'll see AI classify, AI extract, reply, sentiment, summarize. And then you'll see a, a four more here that I created in Power Apps. So once you create the prompt in Power Apps, it will appear in the list here. But before then, you will only see the AI ones, and those are the pre-built ones. So what we need to do is go over to Power Apps and create prompt. So to go over to Power Apps, we click up here. And we go to Power Apps from the menu, and that will open it in a new tab. Now, over on the side, if you go to More, you'll see AI Hub. So let's click on that. And you can pin that action here so that it's there for future use, if this is the first time using this. Now, inside the AI Hub, I'm going to see my recently created um, prompts here. And what we can do is to create more is click on AI prompts. And then up at the top, you'll see some options. And here's the same create text with GPT using a prompt. That's the same action over here in Power Automate. So that's the one that we want. And we're gonna create a, a custom prompt. And you can see all of my existing prompts that I've created are down here under my prompts. So I'm gonna click here and then it's gonna give you some um, details about an example prompt and the response, the AI response here. So if we go down here, we can create custom prompt. And the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this because the auto um, title for the prompt is just custom prompt with the date and time. So I'm going to change it to email text extract and you can name it whatever you want to and whatever you name it here it's going to show up in your menu over here once you've saved it of course now in the prompt we need to write to the ai what we want it to do now as i as i mentioned we're trying to extract particular text from an email and this is the email here that i want to extract from this is the email that we're going to test our flow with as well so this email comes in and it always has slightly different data and the structure is always a little bit different. So it's never gonna, the, the data in this email is never gonna be in quite the same location. So for example, right here, I want to extract the delivery type, but delivery type isn't always necessarily in this row, nor is it always in this form. But what we can do 
is tell prompt the AI to extract delivery type just by um, typing in some text here. So we're going to go ahead and work on our prompt. So I'm going to say extract the delivery type from the email body. And what I need to do is I need to create a dynamic value here. So if I click on that and add a dynamic value, I'm just going to name the dynamic value email body. And now that I have our prompt, and this is a very basic prompt, mind you, you can get very elaborate with these prompts, but this is a good starting point for what we're trying to achieve. And now here you have test your prompt. So before we can even save and continue, we need to test it, make sure that it's going to do what we want it to do. So here we need to enter a sample value and our sample value is the email body, right? So as I mentioned, here's my email. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna copy the whole thing. And I'm gonna paste right in here. And then I'm going to click test prompt and let's just see what it gives us. Here you can see AI response to the delivery type mentioned in the email body is virtual classroom. And that's correct, Del delivery type is virtual classroom. But what we want it to the AI to return is simply virtual classroom, right? We don't need the extra text because we're gonna use the AI response as dynamic content in the rest of our flow. So we can elaborate a little bit further here. There we go. So a little bit of playing around to get it exactly what we need, but now we've, we did achieve what we wanted, which is the AI to respond with the virtual classroom. Now, before we go any further, what we wanna do is test this prompt with a slightly different email body. So I have, again, I have my email here and Sometimes these course details are going to be in a slightly different order. So just for example, we might have the, the, the delivery type up here instead of here. So if we just make the changes here, copy this into here, and then test our prompt again, we get the same result. And then one more test. Sometimes instead of having this these separated by a colon, it might be delivery type is, for example. And you might even have like the in front of there. And we'll just do the same exact test here. Make sure that this will still give us the result that we need. So there's a few different ways that we might, that delivery type might appear in the email. And each of those tests still gets us the response of virtual classroom. So now that we have a successful response, we can save this custom prompt. And once it's saved, we can go back to Power Automate and we can select that from our list of prompts. We may need to delete this and then re-add it in order to get it to appear. Drop down menu. And here it is, email text extract. Now, once you select it, you're going to get these extra fields that will appear here. So the in input email body, 
what that is, is the dynamic content of the HTML to text. So we're going to grab that and put it in there. And then we're going to test this by adding one more step, which is just simply a compose. And the inputs here is going to be the text, the generated text of our create text with GPT using a prompt. And we can go ahead and save. The one thing you'll note once you save is that this will also, will, this will always uh, appear here, the flow checker, to give you this warning that um, using these AI builder actions recommends that you add a uh, approval action to your flow. But we're just testing this out. So you can, it, it will still save your flow and you can still exit out and everything will be saved. But if you're actually putting this into production, then you may need to include an approval action depending on what you're trying to do. I'm going to go over to my email here and I'm going to make sure that the subject is correct. Our subject should be test. And we're going to go ahead and send this. And that will trigger our flow to run. You can see that it's running, that it succeeded. So if we open our run history, and we could click on our compose action, we're going to see that it extracted the virtual classroom from our email. So the flow with our AI builder action grabbed the correct delivery type value, which is in this case for this test email was virtual classroom. So we have, now we have um, this value. And also if you click on here, you can see that it will give you the output um, here as well. So I forgot to show that to you. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit and then we can add new steps where we can, for example, send an email. And then we can use the dynamic content from the text generated here. So we can select text and include that in an email, or we can add it to a SharePoint list. Well, there's a lot of possibilities. So I hope that you found this video useful and we're gonna explore these AI builder actions in some coming soon videos um, in a new series around the AI builder actions because there's so many good use cases for these actions that uh, require a deeper dive into. So as always, I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.